Well, hello, hello everyone and welcome to my new vlog. My name is Chris and today I will be showing you my entire airsoft loadout and tactical equipment that I've been obtaining for the past few months. So the reason why I bought all these things is just simply because I can and I wanted to and I like owning these things. I'm really into all this and I just like like to collect that, you know, and I also might start playing airsoft, you know, or I can use this when I make tactical logs, which is the, again, primary reason why I purchased all of these things. So without further talking, let me show you what I've been spending my money on for the last few months. Uh, there is a lot of stuff here, so I will go from the clothes. So the most uh, interesting thing here would be the plate carrier. So I forgot which brand this is. I got uh, this plate carrier from uh, the airsoft shop and uh, I got a Croatian flag patch here in the middle because I'm Croatian and uh, it got three pouches here for the magazines I got to use glow sticks here the red one and the blue one even though it's white but while it was glowing it was blue so once it stopped glowing it's just white so it turns out it's white and red but yeah, um, at the back here you got again these molly uh, like strings that you can attach the molly pouches and other attachments, you know, like bags, bigger, smaller bags, etc. etc. Uh, plate carrier also uh, has uh, it also has a rubber plates. Uh, one at the back, one at the front, so it has back and front rubber plates. Uh, it uses a Walsero, pretty strong Walsero to strap up on the body. And once I put it on, this is uh, how it looks like. So, I stick that side, I stick this side and there you go so this is how the plate carrier looks on my body when I put it on me uh, it also has another pocket here in which you can put either more magazines or you know something so yeah that is pretty cool. Uh, also, you can pull out these rubber airsoft plates and put an actual real steel metal plates, uh, armor plates, but obviously I won't do that because it's not like I expect someone to shoot at me with the real gun, <laughs> let's be honest. So, uh, next thing I would go with from the clothes are my invader gear uh, tactical pants so they've been I forgot to mention that the plate carrier just the plate carrier without anything else costed me 50 euros these pants for 90 euros uh, brand is once again invader gear uh, model is predator and they're all black because I like um, to wear everything black you know it's it's just uh, my thing uh, and yeah, these Predator pants come with uh, integrated pads on both knees. So yeah, I can dress them for real quick so you see how that looks like. All right, so this is it. This is what my Invader, Invader Gear Predator pants look like when I dress them so they're made of anti-rip material so uh, 
you almost can't tear this or at least it's really hard to tear uh, you can wash it in a washing machine very easily you know and uh, also I have my belt that is uh, like a cloth strong belt almost like a tactical belt uh, this one I bought at the Chinese shop for a few euros and, and honestly it holds really well so let me pass that around the pants so also while attaching the belt on my pants I also now attach my pistol in the holster it is some cheap uh, Kaima holster Kana sorry that's that's how it's called it's a Kana holster it's a no normal uh, cloth holster you know it fits almost every pistol I'll get into my sidearm in a second also I have a pouch for my magazine for my spare magazine for my Taurus uh, PT24 7G2 that once again I by the way uh, unboxed and reviewed on my channel you can check that video video out if you want to so the way you attach this um, holster on the this this uh, magazine pouch uh, on your pants it actually it goes on the belt you have the clip the plastic clip at the back side you pass it through your belt like this where you want to have your magazine and there you go so now when I want to pull the gun out of my holster I first unzip it it's on the little metal button clip zip you know and I pull my sidearm out uh, my sidearm also has a new metal nano laser nano one laser from Amerex and it works really nice it's much better than the plastic one sidearm you know like I said you already seen it works perfectly fine so yeah uh, let's put that away next thing I got is my Miltac Karambit knife this is something that I just got myself uh, because it looks cool Karambit knives are uh, combat knives designed especially spe uh, for fighting and they're used in martial art called Silat. Uh, originally these knives were first tools uh, made for uh, pulling out the roots of the plants you know and for planting rice in China and you know uh, other other East, uh, Asian countries you know and then they later just you know weaponized it so it has this ring that you attach your finger through and you know you can spin it around and do all kinds of tricks and things with it uh, it is sharpened only from the inside as the original karambit is there are also uh, karambits that are sharpened on the outside this one's not but uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you can Google that and find out more about karambit knives and how they're used. So I also practice uh, martial arts with this karambit knife sometimes when I go out and train airsoft and stuff. I keep it here attached on my vest, so that's where I keep my karambit knife. So anytime I need to pull it out, I just simply do that. Uh, this karambit knife is so sharp that uh, I cut it uh, myself with it here and I have a nasty scar uh, my wound got infected you know I had a bunch of problems don't want to go into details it was really bad I almost cut my arm tendons so this thing is no joke so karambits are no joke then next thing I got are uh, two GBR airsoft grenades so those are plastic grenades 
they cost 20 uh, euros each. Uh, they're not really reliable since they don't really spread BBs much. Uh, but here's how they work. You remove this cap down here. You put around 100 and something BBs in there. You screw that cap back on. And then you have the pin that you pull. And once you throw or like drop the grenade, upon the impact uh, the grenade opens it didn't open now it didn't open again for some reason there you go now it opened <laughs> so yeah this is how the grenade looks like once it it opens it almost looks like some bounding mine or something but yeah basically these three clips have a strong spring and you know they're supposed to spread the BBs and hit the players, but this doesn't really work, you know, it's not really effective. Spread is shit, and those are, those grenades are, you know, they're not really reliable for, for airsoft. I mean, if you can get a kill with them, good job, but it's not uh, what I bought them for. Uh, the reason why I purchased these grenades is because I plan on making tactical logs where I will explain how to clear rooms with uh, grenades, you know, how to throw grenades, you know, so I can use this only for the simulation, you know. That's basically the reason why I purchased these two uh, hand grenades, you know, for practicing and again for fun and making these tactical logs and videos. Uh, this is where I keep these two grenades attached, they stay very nicely on my uh, plate carrier. Again, most of the things are attached on my uh, plate carrier. Uh, last, uh, actually not last, but another piece of clothing I got are these uh, Bole uh, safety airsoft glasses. Uh, they are confirmed to stop airsoft BBs and protect the eyes from uh, BBs uh, on the impact. Uh, honestly, nobody shot me yet. I never even played airsoft yet, but that doesn't mean I won't try it out since I got all the equipment and everything. I will probably play it, hopefully. And yeah, this is how these glasses look like when I attach them on my face, you know, on my eyes. Are very strong, very reliable. Uh, another thing I keep on my head uh, is helmet. Uh, only helmet was 50 euros. I also added strobe light. It has the blinking mode and the glowing mode. It's only in red color. You use that when you're hit, so you turn that on at night so the other airsoft players know you're dead and you know you're out of the game. Uh, another thing I have uh, taped with Volcero at the back of the helmet is a tourniquet. This is the dummy version of a military tourniquet that is used for stopping bleedings on a battlefield. It cost me, I don't know, I think it was around. 10, 12 euros, something like that. Uh, glasses were 20. Uh, and then, final thing I got on my helmet is this Swiss Arms uh, flashlight uh, that was around 30, 40 euros, something like that. It is very bright, it is very blinding, it is very powerful. Uh, it has a RIS mounting system, so you know, you just screw it on the rail. It can also be on the weapon or whatever, but yeah, this is how I look like when I attach this helmet on my head. So yeah, this is it so far. <laughs> Last clothing item are my impact. Uh, mechanics wear gloves. There is also MPEG 2 and MPEG 3 version. Uh, MPEG 3 are the best, MPEG 1 are 
all kind of the worst. I mean, again, there is different types of impact. Uh, you know, gloves. But yeah, these are pretty reliable. They're good. They've been through a lot with me. I mean, they're faded on the palms and they started tearing a little bit. But still, they're far from done and they're very good. They got the uh, shock resistant uh, gum. You know, this, this gum. I mean, the rubber. Shock resistant rubber. Uh, at the knuckles and at the fingers besides the trigger finger and uh, thumb on the thumb you have this uh, sweat wiper on both uh, of, of gloves uh, what I could also add is my trusty G-Shock GD120 uh, that I've been wearing for many many years now and this uh, this watch is shock resistant uh it is it is fantastic honestly it's been through a lot with me all right so that's it this is my g-shock gd120 uh watch digital watch you know it tells me time it has a bunch of options stopwatch uh, alarm you know timers all things that one watch uh, should have. Uh, again, it's not. It's never a final piece of clothing. <laughs> I got another uh, magazine pouch. This one is for my AR-15. So it works at the, at the exact same principle as the one for the pistol. Again, you got two plastic clips, and you just uh, attach that on your belt all right so here it is this is where I keep this magazine so I got three magazines uh, at my plate carrier uh, then I got one magazine on my belt in the pouch and I got my magazine the original one that came with the rifle one is in the rifle so all together I got five magazines uh, for my AR-15 that I by the way also unboxed and reviewed on my channel so you can check that out again anytime you want to so I'm not gonna be talking about this rifle again. Uh, the only different thing that I got for it is new red dot sight. This one is uh, longer and it has uh, two modes. Uh, it has red and green light. So I will try to show you, you know. Yeah, no, you can't see it. <laughs> but yeah, it glows in uh, green and red dot and yeah, this is how the AR-15 looks like on me with the helmet and, you know, all the equipment uh, on me. So, that's for the rifle. And now, of course, the latest airsoft weapon I've obtained is my SAS-12 uh, Frenich uh, pump action shotgun that I also, by the way, unboxed and reviewed on my YouTube channel. Again, you can check that out anytime you want to. The only thing I added is a shell holder. It has four shells. So, you know, this is how I look like when I decide to roll with my shotgun. You know, this is where you with the shells you know I grab the shell from the shell pouch on my boss sock and you know I'm ready to go ready to to roll so yeah I already talked about this shotgun I'm not again gonna talk about it but it's another thing that I spend my money on 
By the way, yeah, shotgun was around 100 euros, 94 euros I paid for it. Uh, the AR-15 was 250 euros, only the AR-15 without the scope and other magazines and anything else. Uh, last thing I got is my trusty Miltac uh, Soul backpack. Uh, which was also like around 50 euros I think so this is how that goes so yeah uh, you'll see my backpack uh, the last thing I got here is my Baofeng radio that I purchased uh, for my Urbex adventures and I purchased it uh, for Airsoft if I ever play on any Airsoft uh, events that include uh, communication or the radio I have my Baofeng uh, 5 UV5R that's the exact model of Baofeng radio it is one of the most popular ham radios out there and it works beautiful so yeah it's a beautiful little radio that works perfectly you know and it has a really nice range if you add the bigger antenna on it it even has a, a bigger range so you can also do that uh, so yeah it's a real working walkie-talkie and I don't know, for the end, I could take my AR-15 on me and this is, you know, how I look like with my full gear and equipment on me. The only thing that I could add are boots that I didn't brought here, they are in the closet where they belong but I'm using a Hikes Eagle 2.0 uh, mid uh, boots so they're really good they cost around 250 euros I think something like that are pretty expensive but they are really really good oh yeah I quickly would like to include this uh, gamo rifle bag as well so it is really nice foam on the inside uh, for your weapon not to get damaged you know you can zip it all the way around here you can even put your name if you want to and at the back you got this uh, shoulder you know sling so you can carry this on your shoulder as well it's a really good bag for the price I think it was around like 30 euros something like that yeah all together this is my full airsoft loadout i usually relocate the radio on my uh, plate carrier as well on the left side here so i can uh, aim with my rifle you know now i can't put the buttstock on my shoulder because of the radio but yeah in general this is my full black airsoft swat i would say loadout because you know i'm all black so I think it looks real nice, looks real cool, and yeah, <laughs> so that's it guys for this video, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did then go ahead and leave a like, share, comment or subscribe, if you want to, if you don't want to, you don't have to, it's totally fine. Uh, you can also uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, links are down below in the description, so check that out as well if you want to, again, if you don't want to, you don't have to. I love you, I appreciate all of your support and everything you've done for me and my channel so far. You guys are amazing, and I'll definitely see you in the next videos. Chris out.